What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of 999. We finished up at the casino and we're leaving. Best synopsis I've ever done. Ooh, I know how some of you love creaking sounds. Some of you. I found it. I found it. This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. With his shoulders, yes. Oh, he's using his hands. He's learning. It sounds as though you have opened it. Um, yeah. We should be able to reach C deck now. It's that amazing Imagine. hearing he's so famous for. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? I mean, the stairs. Junpei, come on. He's like, I mean, judging by his face and hair, I must say he's like 50 years old. So I think he's had some stares in his life. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. <laughs> Morons. Good to hear. Let's move. Everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D-deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the C-deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. <laughs> it's the symbol for Lotus. Why does he talk like that sometimes? Hey, check it out. <laughs> he sounds almost like Beavis and Butthead. Hey, check it out. <laughs> it's the symbol for Lotus. <laughs> what? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then See? it's got the double <laughs> horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. Whoa. No two ways about it. Goodness. That was a pretty good one, kid. Oh, whoa. Would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're going to break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> whoa, what's going on here? Hello. If we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff? Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> I like this guy. Seven! Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Mm, mm. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Mm, mm. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, shit. Hallways have, have doors, yes. Doors. Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right this time. Uh, there are doors here, too. Uh, well, I guess it's just uh, four doors. this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? What? No. <laughs> hey, what? What is this place? It's so huge and empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. Oh, there's, there's that 200 the IQ. End. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Well done. <laughs> hey, 
Why is that door between three and seven blank? Hmm, there is no number, therefore I can conclude that it is not a numbered door, because there is no number. Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. At least we're thorough. <sighs> yep, locked. Just like I thought. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Oh, Unless yes. we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nope, nothing. How about the red on door seven? And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've what does it say? Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa, Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's gonna make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Oh, could you smell it? Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The bottom? Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot, or something. <laughs> Probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? There's a slot down here. I think it's and supposed who? to fit I, something. I mean, it really doesn't make sense. <laughs> I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? June! Ace! And friends! Santa, Clover! And, and Lotus! Just say, and friends. Guess everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. Why would there be so many hospital rooms? Did they expect every person on the ship to get sick at once? Is that what they were prepared for? There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. Junpeter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. Oh, no. The Gigantic? Oh, God. What is this Gigantic? Oh, God. The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. I don't believe that. Actually, the Titanic I don't had two believe sister it. ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. Can you imagine if that was the name of the movie? The Gigantic. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. 
Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic in a hospital <laughs> ship. So, I just figured... Brilliant deduction. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean... I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Huh. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten... Eleven... Twelve. Huh. Twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room, but we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. Uh, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, just maybe? <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Then we'll plan. just have to die. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything! That's my kind of game. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. She just said it's the same. It's just as you said. Yes! <laughs> All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't, either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... he couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Alright, settle hey, down. Uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! 
Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. <laughs> we just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Yes! Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right. I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right. We should go, too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Um... Oops, what did I do? I guess we'll start at the casino and just work our way down. How about the casino on B-Deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? Mmm. What is it? Fuse and leave? No! Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one, but there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Yeah, he would never go with that Ace, plan. Snake, it's stupid. Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. And one plus zero equals one. The digital root for those four would be one. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we managed to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't yes, as she goes That's to make the same position. offer with everyone else. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right, where should we go next? All right, first class cabin, B-Deck. Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. What should Junpei do? Are you all right? <laughs> look, I know you're really worried, but... Alone. Alone. 
Hmm? I said leave me alone! Uh, no, you said loan, 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 so... so annoying! Just go away and leave well, me alone! Well, I Just never... go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Uh, um... Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? Uh, huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? The casino! Well, how about the casino? Let's go take a look. What? No, no one's questioning it? Hmm. There's no one. Let's try somewhere else. Yes, because we were already there, you see? Let's go back downstairs and check out that hallway with all the doors. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! What should Junpei do? Let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well... Wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. Right. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... <sighs> I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Where should we go next? Now, what if I... Hmm. Let's go check out the first class cabin. Okay, I'm coming with you. <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. Okay, Where? so Clover did leave. All right. Hey, uh, why don't we go back to C deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, nobody's here. Let's look somewhere else. Okay, looks but like where? Ace is gone. All right. So that pretty much just leaves the large hospital Why don't room. We go back to the big hospital room. Okay, let's go then. Hey, wait. That's Santa. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Hmm... Yes... I think it was probably Zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean, who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? Huh. <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. So what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But... why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. 
You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. Oh? And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that probably wraps it up, so let's finish searching. That snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three, and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Um. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two, and one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. And what's the digital root for that? Three plus seven plus eight is 18, so add one, eight, nine. Exactly. But door nine isn't here, right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. I do not anyway, have the time. That's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. That's how utilitarianism works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree. All right. That's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Huh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? She'll stay behind, probably. Hey, your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh, let's go look for Except him it's together. impossible. Okay, if we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. So sneaky. Now, let's start a vote to Sneaky with her big hair and her big boobs and her that tiny waist. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve it. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. 
Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please. I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <sighs> Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able this to take a This awkward smiling going on. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven! Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be! Right, Jumpy? Say something! Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it! Wow! I'll figure it out on my own! Just said he was gonna do it! Ace! Ugh. Come on, Ace. Please stand up! You can't give up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! <sighs> Ace! What? Is that... he's taking a nap? What happened? Ace! Say something! I'm alright. How are you alright? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to... Say? Hmm? I'd just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No! Don't, Ace! Don't fall asleep! Ah, you feel warm. So <laughs> comfortable. Creepy. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! <sighs> uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. I said, like you even yeah, mean that. We're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. <laughs> old what? lady? What did you just say? <laughs> Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. Huh? Why? 
because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? The bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four. Three. There are two combinations that can go through door three. That's it. Of course, two teams. I'm just gonna take his word for it. Same... I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight. No, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A, have three, five, and eight, and four, six, seven. Option B, four, five, and three, six. Option C, <laughs> three, six. God, four. okay. Those are the only three. Op At least, if we want. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. <sighs> have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven, or you can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind. So what are you gonna do? Seven or eight, time to choose. Take the risk and choose door three. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, Santa, but I still want to go through door three. What? That's nuts! You've got to be crazy! Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? I'm just... I'm just curious about door three. That's all. That doesn't explain shit! I have a reason. <laughs> I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. I'm curious about the... Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? Why? Please, just do it. Happy? Yeah, thanks. The number seven has been entered into the red. Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like seven did. Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? Ah, yep. I think I think I might have found another way out. What? What? Really? Now please, June. Oh, okay. All right. The only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? You don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Which is Santa's number. By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals eighteen. It would be nine, right? Yes, and what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three, the door's number. There you go! Hey, wait a minute! What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Santa, or Lotus and Clover, once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. So I'm waiting. You son of a bitch! You tricked us! All that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit! Bullshit? Huh. I don't oh, think so. Bullshit. Hmm. Didn't I tell you I figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? Jumpy. You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. That's it? So, who's it going to be? Santa? What a dick! Lotus and Clover. Shit! <laughs> Let's go, Clover. Oh, no, wait! This is insane! This isn't right! Yeah, well, you may be right, but... Go! Oh, it's so mean! Oh my god! No! Junpei, this isn't fair! Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't... Shut it! That's enough! We gotta find the dead or none of this is gonna matter! We got less than a minute left! No time for screwing around! Get moving! Damn it! You and I are not done yet, bastard! Where? Where the hell is it? Over there! It's gotta be behind the door! 
It's pitch dark inside. I can't see a thing. No, wait. I found it. The dead's right over here. Oh. What? The floor's slippery. Hey, what the hell are you doing? There's something. Get over there. Quick, get to the dead. There it is. Stopped. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to doing this. What the... What the hell is this smell? This is vile. I'm gonna puke. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is... Let's get the lights on first. There's a switch over here. Okay, guys, I'm flipping it on. <gasps> what? Hey. Oh, this is... Looks like an explosion. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bottom of his gut. Oh, God. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. The face is the worst. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... Is that... Snake? Oh my god. Why did this happen? No! 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 Stop! Calm down. <sighs> hey! down <laughs> we're gonna be fine it's gonna be all right june it's going to be okay connie i'll be here with you okay thank you thank you so much jumpy do you feel better yes but i'd like to stay here for a little while at least jumpy's body is so warm. Did you just say that to him? To his face? <sighs> <sighs> hmm. Well, for one thing, I kind of wish I didn't go with the three. I just wanted to see if I could and what would happen. Um, because I think it would have been smoother if I went with seven or eight. But we're here, so what are you going to do? Um, but it's been over 40 minutes, so I want to end this video here. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!